Everyone, hi. Bruce Moffson, LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada. We heard you guys. Okay, we did a get Death Grip song a few months ago, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but I got tons of com you know comments. Please do more Death Grips. Please do more Death Grips. You guys have asked. We have delivered. We're going to do another song. And also, not just doing the song, but talking about understanding better the Death Grips philosophy and why they're so popular with their fans and how they get the message across so well. Okay, here we go. The name of the song that we picked was The Fever from the Money Store. And again, this came out, of, this is from their first album. This came out a while ago. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the lyrics and kind of go from there. Here we go. It goes, deviated septum, blowhole, sugarcane, cocoa. Um, I looked that up. Drug references to a certain extent. Okay. Then going into the chorus, I got the diamond scraping, slot, siding, Wasted my life in altered states. Them back it up. Uh, they're a lot of looking on this one again. Different message boards, understanding drug terms, and diamonds generally a reference for cocaine. But what he's also saying is he's admitting he's admitting that he's wasting his life by using. Fine. Then he goes in. I got the fever. I got the fever. Says it again. I got the fever. I got the fever. That's in the chorus. Um, and he goes, I got it. And look what it's done to me. That's what I took out of it from that angle. And then he goes in the verse two, crawling through the tunnels, losing touch with everything I'm doing. Yeah, I'm losing it with reality. And then finally, over on the next page, he ends on the chorus again. Um, I got, you know, wasting my life in altered states, then back it up. I got the diamond scraping siding. I got it, and look what I got at the end. I got nothing to show for it. Now, this came from an, a listener who was listening to, and he goes, The Fever is a single off the Death Grips album, The Money Store. This is what he writes. It's interesting because it's kind of like how a lot of people have the, same, have the same feeling. Death Grip lyrics are often deeply metaphorical and cryptic, made even more so by MC Ry's haunting, harsh, and provocative vocal style. The Fever tells the story of a man who was fighting personal demons, addiction, and is possibly schizophrenic. The main character is painted out to be a rough, street-worn drug abuser and murderer. Okay. Now, notice there's no clear definition of what the person is, what the message is. All right. Now, this came from Clash Magazine in 2012. This is how they referenced the, anim the album and the words that were used. Unrelenting in its energy. Passion. Inventiveness isolates itself from compliance, influence, com I'm sorry, commonplace influence, and no genre convention. Zach Hill commented in the article, he goes, the words work as symbols. The emotion behind them is really important. And later on, he writes, he, writes, he adds, we're here because of this passion. We're not caged at least not in our minds. Okay. And then you had the listener before. This is the understanding now. I get it. The essence of understanding them and why they are so popular. In watching the video, you see the build up with the energy. Ay, 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 right? And it's the energy is being produced and held in before it blows up. Okay. And Boom, it explodes. Ay, 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 ay. Mm, 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 mm. There's something coming. Something coming powerful, coming right at you. It draws you in. How do they perform this particular video, but in general with their performances? They're in silhouette. You can't really see them. Why are they doing this? Because they want you. Okay? to see yourself, and that is why they are never, okay, at 100% to see them. That's why they're so stripped down, like with the videos of like, you know, constant this and this and this, because they don't want you to see them. They want you to focus on the message and how it relates to you. Okay, what do you get out of the experience? It's a metaphor from them to you, to you. How does it make you feel? 
In other words, they're not being pigeonholed, and they don't want you to be pigeonholed anyway in how you're going to define them in their lyrics and their music. All of their songs are like that. And I went through a lot of songs from this album all the way to the latest album, going through song after song, reading probably several hundred comments. I don't understand a word of what they're saying or what the message is, but I feel emotional on an emotional, physical, and mental level that I have never felt before in my life. That's what comes across all the comments. I can't understand what they're saying. I had to get the lyric breakdown. But I was in an experience after I left that concert that I've never felt before or since after my life. Okay, the band is brilliant in that Stefan, Andy, and Zach, they don't want you to focus on the words because it's taking away from the message. Okay, and what you, you, you will get from it, not them. They want you to be engrossed in what you're getting out of it. In a very clear way, it's very liberating. Their experience on stage, to not dress up, no opening act, no backup singers, no props. It's to strip the message of individualism by becoming together as one. It's a different focus. Like usually you see people say like, oh, you were talking to me where I got this message. No, no, no. They want you to come in as an individual, but to leave as a collective. Okay. When I broke down my first song of theirs on GP, and I asked for people to share with me, what are they like in person? We got over 20 responses, and it was all the same, which is so unusual. Usually, you have 20 people who have 20 different experiences. They were lame. They were sucked. They were too loud. I didn't get it. Music was crazy. I loved them. They changed my life. Okay, here's what everyone said to us. It blew my mind. I left exhausted. I was drained. The mosh pit was insane. I would go back again in a heartbeat. I never had an experience like this. I felt the surge and blast of pure energy. They just came in, came on, and they left. Every single comment. Every single commenter. Why? Because just as they don't want to be defined, and they talk about this a lot in interviews, they don't want to be defined as any one particular genre, any kind of type of music. You'll see when they when they say their music, what are they? Like 15 different versions. Even the reviewers can't come up with something. They don't want you to be either. They don't want you to be defined like that. They want you to be yourself. This is what we preach in our videos, in our message to you guys, okay? Don't follow the crowd, okay, and be a sheep. Be your own individual and go forth in confidence. They don't want you to be defined, and they don't want you to be either. You know, they don't want that. They want you to be yourself. As a commenter, Issa Fon wrote, it makes no sense but makes complete sense at the same time. As a result, what they're trying to say, I think, my interpretation of this song, the fever is, you don't need drugs. You don't need anything self-destructive to find the greatness in yourself. Because when you do that, when you have to do things that are self-abusive and self-destructive, then you are truly like everyone else. And then this is what they're trying to speak about. It's almost like they're saying, don't worship us. Learn to worship yourself and have a crowd of people that are willing to do that with you. We're all individual, but we're all together. Okay? This is to me why going to their concert is a collective, I'm using the word collective experience a lot, like we're, you know, like a beehive, an ant colony. We're on this together. Okay? And the words and the performance is designed to free you from your past inhibitions and realize that you're not just singular, you are part of the Death Grips collective, the Death Grips world, the Death Grips unit, the Death Grips family. I bow. Once again, okay, from the first song to this song, as I now begin to understand why this group and their message is so powerful and why it resonates so well. It's not about us, we're just performing it's about you taking from us the performance 
and applying it to your own life. And so often we're so insecure about that stuff that we follow along like everyone else. They get high, I get high. They wear the same clothes, I wear the same clothes. I got to wear this brand or I'm a loser. I have to look like this where no one's going to want me. I can't get a guy, I can't get a girl. I'm not going to be able to be successful. If those who are watching apply this message to yourself and your own life, that's what we want you to do. Apply it to yourself and your own life and create your own message and your own direction. Be, your say, be yourself and shake off that cloak of mediocrity, that, that suit of like slightly below mediocre. I'm like everybody else. You know why? Because if they can do it, that's what they're really telling you. If we can do it, so can you. That's why they're so nihilistic in a certain extent about like, we don't want to do this forever. We only want to do a certain number of albums. We've reached our mission to be ourselves by breaking free of conventional music forms. Like we're not this, we're not this. No, we're ourselves and we're comfortable with that. And the lyrics and the words I realize now are not meant to be taken like, you know, to decipher what they meant by this sense, but by that sense, but by the overall message of shaking free of what you brought with you and leaving energized to do great things, to be yourself. They are who they are. We want to see you do the same thing in your own life. Please, for those that are watching, you know, that are going to comment, I'd like to hear that you've been to the concert. Now I want to go on to the next phase. What have you done to change your life, to have the confidence to do things that you wouldn't have done pre and post death grips? That's what I'm curious about. What have you taken from the concert? How have you applied it to yourself? And what have you done that took you from the ordinary to the extraordinary? Because I think that's the message they want their fans to get and to receive. And I want to know how that's affected you in that way to go forward in confidence and in strength. Please comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. And you guys are vocal. We know that already. So we're interested in what you have to say, what your thoughts are about this. Good and bad. We want to hear everything. Thanks again. We're good.